morning everyone this is Jeanette happy new year today I'm going to do a video with the brother 2340 and how to release your fabric I know I've covered this in a previous video but I've had a few requests to show a more detailed and in a slower mode so I'm accommodating you guys so with that um, I'm going to move the camera because there's a some levers on the top that you're going to need to push as you're pulling from the needle so let me move the camera and you're going to be pushing these tension levers when you initially threaded the machine you had to open these up and put your thread in between a couple of discs that are in there they're called tension discs so when and they and they um, control the tension as you're of the thread as you're sewing. So when you go to release, you need to release the tension on the thread so you can pull out. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to push these to the side. I have the left and the right needles and the looper. So I'm going to you. I'm going to be pushing this lever, this lever, and this one. The looper so how many needles you have threaded that's the corresponding lever on top is what you're going to use when you go to pull at the needle so let's get started here um, I, I do use my hex screwdriver which is the one you use to change out your needles I use this to pull the thread from underneath the foot and I'll show you that here in a minute but I, as you see, my needles are in the down position. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring them all the way up to the highest point that they will go. Okay, keep your foot down. So what you're going to do is you're going to come in and you're going to grab in front of the needle. And you're going to put your finger, just your fingertip, that's enough. And you're going to take your lever on top and push it to the right. And you're going to pull it out, okay? All right, so then you're done with that one. But what I do is I go in that loop that I just made and I pick up the other needle thread in front of the needle, just like this. And I'll pull that lever and I'll pull. And what I do, I'm doing is I'm making them the same length. But I keep my finger in there for a reason. What you're gonna do now is you're going to lift your presser foot and then you're going to take your little device, whatever you use, and you're going to put it under your foot behind the threads, and then you're going to slide your threads out. And, and as I pull out, I'm letting my fingers go to the needle so they end up up against the needle again because what happens is sometimes they will uh, get wrapped around the back of the, the needle and the thread will be twisted back in the back or they will twist around this little doodad and uh, you won't know that until you go look for your you know go to sew your next garment and all of a sudden you can't figure out why your thread is so tight well look here and look to see that it's not twisted around your needle so then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to find the middle of both of them like this and then I'm going to slide it underneath the, the foot like that. And I'm going to bring them out. And then I'm going to snip it off right here. Okay? So they just lay there. Now you're going to do the looper. And you leave your foot up. And just watch the foot. Because even though it's up, there is some more play to it. Like this. So what I do is I just push it back with the back of my hand. And I take the looper knob and I push it to the right. And then I take my garment and I just tug it. Just like that. And I keep it all like this. And I come in and I just rest my fingers on all three threads. And then pull out the rest of the way. Then I leave it all go. Then I come in and the only... There's one thread here and that's your looper thread. So you cut that off. So now you come to the back... And you don't have to do this every time, but I'm showing you just in case. 
because a lot of people say, oh, you got to tie it off, got to tie it off. No, you don't, because this is self. This is self um, knotting. So watch this. This is your looper thread. These are your needle threads. To be on the safe side, sometimes I'll just take it and I'll tug. And you can see it's making a knot right there. And that's it. And then what you do is you come in and you'll snip them off just like that. And you've already got a knot. And that's how you take out your fabric. So I hope this helps. Um, you don't always have to do it this slow. Sometimes when you pull out, you can feel that it makes that knot. And if it does make a knot and it puckers, just, just bring it to the front and kind of wiggle it out. And it usually comes out. But that's how you do it. Like I said, this is a self-knotting. Uh, you don't have to tie off. So with that, I hope it helps. If you need something else, please let me know. And uh, happy sewing, everybody.